Well, not to be flipped, but it's the kind of murder trial that TV movies were made for. The defendant is accused of killing his lover's husband. Prosecutors say it wasn't a crime of passion, it was all about money. Daniel Pelosi was a blue-collar electrician who had an affair with this woman, Generosa Ammon. Her husband, Theodore Ammon, a wealthy New York banker, was found brutally murdered in his $10 million mansion. The Ammons, once popular in New York society circles, were in the middle of a vicious divorce, fighting over custody of their twins. Ammons' body was found in the upstairs bedroom of his multi-million dollar home. The security system with numerous cameras, off. Eyebrows were raised when Generosa and Dan married just three months after Ted was found dead. And the two then took off to England with Generosa's twins she and Ted had adopted. They split up before she died of breast cancer last August. And while Pelosi maintained his innocence, a jury found him guilty as he held his head in his hands. All Generosa inherited from Ted went to their children. I'm very relieved it's over. Jurors left the courtroom exhausted from three days of deliberation. Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, good. Good to see you. Yeah. Did you bring me something? I did. I brought you a bottle of cheap wine. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's my style. It is your style. Thank you for the bow. It's beautiful. This is me and my sister getting baptized with my Uncle Greg and my Aunt Sarah, my godmother and my godfather. I met Jen Rosa at UC Irvine. For all of our lives, we were very close. I, I feel very fortunate to have had that because I had no siblings. I was an only child, and essentially so was she. Her sister died when she was 18. You know how your mom found out about you guys, right? She was at her doctor's office, and behind his desk were a picture of these two babies, and it was you guys. What? And she said, who are those kids? And he said, those are kids that are, that are orphaned in the Ukraine, and that started the process. They found you, and I think we're very fortunate for that. Mm -hmm. Things happen for a reason. When the kids came here from the Ukraine, they were malnourished. They had visibly deformed skulls because of the malnourishment. They had very little hair on their heads. And these kids came from nothing to having everything. And I think that that was a transition for them. And they grew into it in a way that it became part of them. And then all of a sudden it was ripped away. Their father was ripped away from them. And in two ways, there was, there was the threat of divorce and then there was his murder. And then their mother was ripped away from them. There he is. What up, sis? Hey, bro. How are ya? <laughs> Oh. You look so cute. You're so cute. Ooh. <laughs> You're so weird. Dude, you did something to your hair. It looks so blonde. I mean, I got highlights like six years ago, but... You look... Maybe just my glasses. <laughs> I think you look beautiful, though. Thank you. No, I'm serious. Are we going home, bro? Yeah, we're gonna go back to the house. I don't even feel like this... I, it's so weird. It just I know, it doesn't it feel... So it feels so surreal. How many summers have I told you I want to go back to the Ukraine? And how many summers have you said no? I know, <laughs> I because I, I, was, I was worried that it, I was just, I wanted to wait till I was actually, you know, ready. You know, I didn't feel ready at that point. Yeah. Hey, Sandy. How are you? Hey. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you. 
Yeah, so good to see you too. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Yeah. Through very oh, tragic yeah. circumstances, yeah. they lost both their parents. My brother and his wife both passed away within two years of each other. I was their only relative, really. And we had made a promise to Ted and Generosa when the children were five that we would be the backup guardians. As a matter of fact, we were in the will as their backup guardians. And so after their parents passed away, the children were left in the care of a nanny, and we didn't feel like that was the best place for them. So my husband and I petitioned for custody in the New York court system to bring them to live with us. But if even if we hadn't promised, we would have wanted them to come live with us. Things did not work out between Ted and Generosa, so they'd separated. He didn't tell us like they were getting divorced. He told us that he was taking some time off and he was gonna be living a few houses down the street for the summer. This was when mom started getting angry at dad, very angry, and it was just kind of this whole battle. Ted had someone that was special to him, and I was always very pleased at first that Generosa had someone special to her, and that was Danny. And we know we thought at first this was going to be a really good thing, and not necessarily a permanent thing, but you know they were both seeing other people, and and that was the way it should be. Not realizing that Danny was so dark. She called me and she said, "Do you remember the contractor? His name is Danny Pelosi, and he his." this amazing guy and he's coming over tonight and I don't know what I should do. And I said, well, I would just go cautiously because I had met Danny and I did not have the same feeling that she did. And it was funny about Jenna Rosa because she was always very aware of who was smart and who was capable and who was, who was on their game. And when she told me that Danny was on his game, I really questioned that. And that's one of the few times I've ever questioned her about someone. I think you liked him before I liked him. Like, I think, I you, had, I think you convinced me, you tried to convince me. I remember the first time I was alone with him, me and him driving back at night, um, back into the city, and we were stuck in traffic, and um, so he, he was like, like, do you like to dance? And I was like, uh, and I never really have, like, I don't know how, or whatever. And um, Heaven is a Place on Earth came on the radio, and so he blasted that, and um, we said, and I, I was like, I've never been so happy, like, up until that point. Like, I was like, this is, uh, this is the greatest man alive. Like, I, I love him so much. This is like, this is, this is so much fun. Um, and like, we were dancing, and like, we were just stuck in traffic. And I can remember you coming um, home and being so happy about that. We were sleeping in Dad's new building. We didn't know why Dad wasn't coming home, but we thought he would come home late or something like that. We wake up in the morning, get dressed like a normal day for school, and I. Uh, uh, Aunt Sandy comes in, and Aunt Sandy, of course, lives in Alabama, so Aunt Sandy comes yeah, there, which just seems like, like a, a shock, and we're like, why are you here? And then she, she sits us down, and she tells us, and she says, uh, she says, your father has died. You know, we hug her, and obviously at that time, we were told that Aunt Sandy was, you know, we, didn't, we, weren't, we weren't supposed to like Aunt Sandy at the time, so we were mad at her. And so then we go to the house that Mom's renovating. Mom and uh, Danny are sitting there, and we started asking more questions. And mom did tell us that dad had killed himself. And then I was thinking, trying to figure out, being like, why would dad kill himself? I don't understand, why would dad kill himself? And uh, I just couldn't understand it. And then I was thinking, like, at the same time, I knew, I was like, no, that's not true. My dad's still alive. He's like, because all, all these different things were going on, the divorce, like all these craziness, you know, everything was just so crazy. And so I was thinking, well, maybe dad's hiding. Maybe dad's like, you know, away or like yeah, he faked it or was, something like he that. Faked his death. For so long, I thought that. Yeah, for like and three months, we thought that, you know, he was, he had like chartered a yacht and, you know, he's off sailing somewhere and he'll, he'll be back, you know. We're going back to school and everybody knows that dad died. And you know, at the same time, we really didn't know what's happening because we, didn't, we wouldn't look at the papers, we didn't know anything. And all our teachers would know and they would kind of like, you know, and all our go friends around knew, us and, our families and, knew and, and everybody. And so I remember just going for play dates and still doing the normal thing and people wouldn't let me come over. Like Danny one time brought me over uh, to one of my friend's house and uh, his, the mom was scared shitless of him. Like they would, she wouldn't let Danny come upstairs or it was just like this weird thing and it was not easy. I would walk out the door and the press was there and the flashbulbs and the people and, and I would take the kids somewhere and they were all around. And it was hard for her, she wasn't used to that. My mom never wanted to talk to the press. She never wants to be a part of it or anything. Um, Danny so, did. But Danny did, of course. Well, Danny liked the drama. So like Danny would, and he liked the attention. She never so. had that kind of attention, you know. Danny like really tried his hardest to, you know, um, got even closer to us, and he upped the gifts, and he upped, you know, you know, 
everything that was great about him. Mom and Danny got married when we moved to England, and then Danny was there for a bit, and then Danny had to go back because he had a pending DUI charge. And we went back to, to America with him. He got arrested, and they threw him in jail for six to seven months. Mom decides that she wants to leave Danny and um he, he kept on after jail after he came back from jail oh yeah he kept on coming home drunk and throwing things yeah. and like um you know he and like drunk. nearly missing her and what? he just started like you know spending all his money um going to Las Vegas and he was just like you know kind of out of control and so that's finally when my mom realized yeah I need to get away from this man and when you think about those four years that they were with him god it just drives me crazy every time I think about it. I try not to think about it. I found out that Jenna Rosa had cancer and that it was probably terminal. They moved out to the Hamptons again, where Jenna Rosa should have been all the time. And all they had left was the nanny, Kay, and they were almost orphans again. It was just so sad to see her, like, you know, lying on that couch in the living room. And that's where she was all the time. She barely went up to bed. And she had bed sores yeah. and stuff because she never got up. And on a good day, she would eat two bites of a grilled cheese sandwich or something. She would hallucinate. Yeah, my mom was really sick. Mm -hmm. And she thought she was, like, really strong and everything. And I told you, oh, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. Joanne, stand behind her. She's going to fall over. And she was walking up trying to walk the stairs. And she fell and she slid her entire arm. And it was all, like, oh. I guess they like, repainted it or something. But and she, like, tore up her entire arm. And It was like so scary to see her that way. Like we've, we've seen her in every other light. Went from all these extremes and now she was, I mean, she, she was one of the strongest people that we knew. And, and now she was sitting on this couch, like pretty much help, helpless. Yeah, she got, I mean, she got up and she actually looked really healthy that day, like compared to normal. And uh, she was all dressed nice and, um, and she, she seemed really happy. She was just like, okay, well, I'm gonna go into the city and um, I'll be back and, uh, um, and yeah, and Kay did say that. She said to say goodbye to your mother, but like, I didn't think of that at all. It's like, uh, you know, this may be the last time I'll ever see her. I just was like, I just thought she really just wanted us to, you know, give her a really big hug and make her feel, you know, oh. that we loved her. And, um, but yeah, I mean, so we said goodbye and she, you know. great things that Bucknell had given to me was the desire or intellectual curiosity, the thirst for knowledge, critical thinking. Uh, those things have stayed with me since the day I graduated from this university. My experience has taught me that there are other much more important attributes that define success. Looking back over the last 30 years, and in particular, the past few years since I have uh, been a father to Gregory and Alexa and have learned humility and patience from them. I now realize that, in fact, it was not my intellect or my academic excellence or abilities that have permitted me to be successful. Those that are most successful are the ones that understand how to relate to other people, understand the need to be able to connect to people. At this university, please take the time to learn and practice those attributes that will not only help you succeed here, but that are critically important and essential to your life's work, your happiness, and your success. You have an opportunity here to learn from everyone around you those critically important traits of compassion, caring, charity, and empathy. Please make sure you do so while you're here. Thank you. Dad wanted to take a drive to the beach or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was like, you want to come? And I mean, I, like, I, I loved like, spending time alone with him. And it, he, he started to play Enya. And, oh, yeah. And that's when, that's when like, I fell in love I with love Enya. That. And, um, and like, so every time I listen to Enya. That is the strong, that's the strongest feeling I have, too. Yeah, that's what hey, I do. Really we have any? Do we have any? Yeah. Let's jam out to it. Well, no, I mean, we can't. <laughs> I love this song. See, so, yeah, I think I was, I was playing this song and for somebody. And they're like, this song is so gay. And I'm like, you know what? Screw you. I like it. 
Now just imagine you're in dad's apartment listening to this. It'd be pretty cool. Why do you have to like, say so? Just bring back good memories, dude. Not bad. I mean, I'm, I'm happy, but I can't stop, you know. But yeah. Anyways, can we? Oh my god. It's okay, dude. It's okay. I mean, I'm sorry. I we can turn it off if you want. I mean. It's okay. <laughs> no. It's okay. You're fine. Okay. You're fine. Oh. Always here, dude. In order for me to feel like I... You start the healing process? Yeah, before I can start. I, I feel like I want to put an end to, to all the horrible things that happen. I want to put an end to it. If we can do that, I mean, do you... Like, our, we will be ten times strong. More yes, stronger. we will be. We're Absolutely. just so we need to know what it is we don't know. You know what, what is I mean? It? Like, and I don't know what it is you don't know for sure, but I hear what you're saying is while you were adolescents and teenagers in high school, Uncle Bob and I wanted to take you out of the drama as much as possible and let you heal to a certain extent, just be kids, kids as much as you, as you could be. And that was not even, I mean, think about what happened when you first moved here. We had, you had a trial. Yeah. I mean, you faced your, your stepfather. The bravest thing I've ever seen any 14 year old do is stand up and face your stepfather and stand up for your dad. I mean, that was amazing mm -hmm. for you guys to be able to do that 14 and a half. Just absolutely amazing. Then, we felt you needed to have a break from it. And we were advised that you would ask the questions when you were ready to hear the answer. So we didn't offer any of the answer. So you were ready to ask the questions. Uh -huh. This is the perfect time to do all of that. All right, next time the children were brought to the children's home, escorted by Mel, I mean, it tells us all this stuff. Regions, we're at uh, Sablowski Region Children's Home. Oh, wow. I know. And see, I didn't even know we had these. Yeah. The children were brought to the children's home, escorted by medical nurse of the district hospital, the city of, oh my god. Okay. Yeah, this is your grandma Biel's pocket. Really? Yes. And I've had oh. it since she passed away 12 years ago. We should do something with dad's ashes. I would be waiting for you guys to be part of the decision. Yeah. Because I didn't want to make a decision about that until you were old enough to Well, we didn't want to make a decision without you. When you come back to Ukraine, let's talk about it. Your idea of Bucknell is not a bad idea. In New York, I had thought about the cinder plant, you know. Right. Well, you've written a poem about this, remember? Oh, yeah. Wow, I can't believe you remember that. Oh, yeah. I, can, I do not remember writing this at all. You don't? Mm, mm Really? Wow. I don't remember a lot of things. So, this is what I think we should do. Okay, so we leave tomorrow, right? Yep. And then um, we should first go to the orphanage. The town that we grew up in, or the town we were born in, is the town that orphanage. Yeah, it's 45 minutes away from. Orphanage. Yeah, so I guess whichever we hit first, whichever we hit first, we hit first on the orphanage first. Okay. I want to find out who Svetlana is. I want to find out oh, the, the, story the nurse? That the nurse supposedly that saved you. Yeah, I would love to. I would love and to then know. we should get more information about a birth mother. And then Shimonko is really a common name, so. But not in that village because there's only like 17,000 people that live there. Yeah. There's 17,000 people. That live yeah, I looked up the population. Good morning, good Alexa. Morning. Good morning, Greg. How are you? Oh, good, good. How are you today? Good, good. We were just going over 
Uh, you know what? Tomorrow. There was there was a bunch of papers uh -huh. which have not been previously translated into English. So uh, my wife is a translator, so oh, she, she translated Look. them for you. Oh, she, you actually and already have. I, yeah, I have I have papers. Oh. So I I hope Thank it you. helps you with your research. Oh, that's okay. awesome. Thank you. Oh, number of children born to this mother including We have brothers and sisters. Are you serious? Yep. She was born in 1955. And they're both Ukrainian. There's an address, dude. Dude, there's an address. I mean, th th this means we have brothers and sisters, right? Yes, absolutely. And so, but that, this means that you have four uh, brothers or sisters who were born before you. Yeah. Um, but mine says I have six and she has five. It doesn't necessarily mean uh, you are the younger, uh, but it might. I'm not sure. I can't believe I'm older than you. That's not true. That is not yet true. I, I will not allow that. It's good to be an older sister. How she can use that against me for the rest of her life. You understand that? It's not true. Uh, so why is there no information? Why do you think there's no information about the father? Like he just didn't. So apparently, wanna... your mother, when she gave information at this registry office, she gave almost no information about the father. The mother has been deprived of her parents' rights. Yeah. Does that mean that she? I mean, that, does that mean that they took us away from her? Yes. Because probably that's she was legally. Out. That's the legal way of putting it. Why, why would they do that like though? She was alcoholic. She, uh, you know, they don't really uh, take kids away from parents just because a parent is an alcoholic. Yeah. So that, I, I, I believe that probably means that she, that there was something behind it. Yeah. You actually have have the street address yeah. for your uh, of your first home. Because this is where you spent your the first two years of your life. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Right here, Lenin Street, 138. Wow. This is this is really yeah, great. <laughs> oh man. crazy is thinking that every little thing that happened has brought us to where we are today. Every little thing. And, if, I, and if they didn't, whatever, if those whatever, things didn't happen, yeah, if whatever, our parents didn't die, and, I mean, we wouldn't be here right now, I don't think. I don't think so either. Because but we'd I'm, be in a completely different place. But I'm also saying, like, if we hadn't, if, if whatever, whatever our birth mother did to us, or whatever bad thing happened, or whatever good thing happened, it led us to our parents bringing us to America, you know? Yep. And that's the greatest thing. Which is an absolutely beautiful thing. Go team, go. Oh, it's not even that. This is it right here? Oh, wow. It actually looks a lot nicer than I thought it would look. It's a lot bigger, too. Do we know um, Svetlana, the nurse? She remembers Alexa being sick. She look at her now. She's beautiful. Well, calm, like sitting in a corner, behaving good, changing. <laughs> nope, that's not. She, she wouldn't know the reason why we were sent to the orphanage, would she? 
Е, їх направили сюди, тому що маму позбавили батьківських прав. А такі діти, це так як в Закарпатській області тільки один такий наш будинок дитини, де виходяться діти від народження і до трьох років. Ага. Мама до них взагалі не навідувалася, так як її позбавили батьківських прав. Потім дозволили встановлення дітей і знайшлася одна сім'я, тобто їхні батьки їх встановили. І вони, тому що двонят розлучати не можна, якщо близнят, і вони вирішили забрати за двох. I was very happy when you were adopted because when children grow up, they, it's harder for them to get adopted and mm-hmm. find new parents. Yeah. Yeah. And you were small and find new family and she was very happy. <laughs> I always remember you very well. <laughs> Yeah, the face. Of the face. Yeah. Thank so you. Thank, thank you for having an so incredible okay. memory because. You know. Thank you for taking care of us. <laughs> Can I give her a big old bear hug? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Anna Yurin. Very happy for you that you are so successful and came from here and uh, managed to succeed in a foreign country. And uh, she's very pleased that you took your time to come back here and see your uh, Ukraine, your, your home. Our hometown. Yeah. You're definitely one of the people that made it possible. you. <laughs> <laughs> Are we here? Yeah, it should be one of these up here. So guys, yeah. I saw what What happened? Five years ago. Where, where are her kids? She's actually your own. <laughs> So the grandma, she, like you were your, your favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Um, does she know who her father is? А ви не знаєте, хто він батько? Де він зараз? Батько. То батько, бо прийшов лише на одну ніч. Батько був був якийсь воєнний. Він прийшов сюди, бо як тепер знав, він прийшов вечором сюди і і ніч побув тут, і все. Так і Юра, Юра ще. That's Yuri. Is your brother. Юра, пой твої братя, прошу, сестри. Серйозно з Америки, Юра. Серйозно, ти признята, Юра. Серйозно. Вон тепер сюди прийшов, тоже недавно. Що ти тут баба жила? Так це вони. What's going on, buddy? How are you, man? How are you? Okay. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> What's going it's on, nice man? Uh, it's nice to meet you, man. You speak English. You speak English? <laughs> A little bit? Not much. It's awesome. Wow. Do I kind of, do I look like you a little bit? No. Yeah. Uh, nice, nice. I, who's, who's, who's stronger? Am I stronger than you? I'm <laughs> 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 oh, 24. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. Oh, that's what a good life. Yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 А я не иска, лежу и сказала, что к нам говорила на сегодня именно. Говорила. Я не знаю, что это было. Вау. 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 Because everybody was lost and now everybody is found. No, he was from his arm. How old is she? 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 One of you died. Ruslan. Ruslan and But she remembers you very well. She played with you when you were. I got a little bit of a and the next day I got a little bit of a little bit of a little bit she remembers how you were taken as well. No, she is a sister. 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 She is a did anyone know where she is? I don't know where she is. I don't know where she is. I told my brother, I told him, 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 Були під нашу фамілію Шманько були записані на селі Раді і всюди. І ми так шукали були по інтернету, але не вийшло. Дуже багато таких було і не вийшло. А вам тепер по 20 років. Так, по 20 років. Ти знаєш, хто більше? Do we know which one of us is older? Uh, do we know which one of us is older? Uh, do we know which one of us is older? Uh, do we know which one of us is older? Uh, do we know which one of us is older? Uh, do we know which one of us is Oh, 
Oh, she looks almost Mama, like identical to you. Mama, she looks identical to you. Mama, she looks identical to you. <laughs> how did she uh, how did she die? Uh, I <laughs> Я така, в мене сльози в очах, і я собі думаю, Боже, мамо, ну я ж твоя дитина, ти мене не можеш назвати мамо, ну, донько, чи я ходила, я її лікарів визивала, я її вже там, в останній час я до неї приклалася, тому що ну, не хотіла її оставити на произвол. То ми вже її, так, гарно ми її поховали, все ми зробили, якби було по-людськи. Вона її могилка там є, ми вже її поставили пам'ятник, усе там, тож так можуть навіть піти до церкви, потім подивитися. Тихо, спокійно і атмосфера така приємна, бо типу магнітне поле. Бо магнітне поле. Той много типу пам'ятників і магнітне поле. She's very beautiful. Ай, хороша була, батько розказуєш, що дуже коли була мова, дуже була хороша, охайна була, все було. Що ніхто не знає, чи вона сама то хотіла, чи то так мало бути. This is like seven times I can't. Uh, you get flowers tomorrow? Yeah, I don't. How are you? Thanks, Power. It's so good to see you. Or we finally meet you. Just keep money. So we are related, that's the main thing. He asked about your parents. Yeah, they, I mean, they're absolutely wonderful. I mean, uh, but they also passed away. So. Ah, but you see. What was the age of your parents when they passed um, away? 47 and 52. My mom is 47. My mom It's crazy how one person can affect the whole family. Це дивно, як через одну людину вся сім'я може так змінитися. Ну, всі маємо її подякувати. We still have to thank her. Вона вже родила вісім дітей. So she gave birth to eight children. А в 49 років померла. And then passed away at 49. Так світ создан. Хто рождається, хто помирає. That's a world that's alive. Someone appears to this world and someone goes from it. Somebody laughs, somebody cries, that's all I have. Oh, this is so beautiful.
Oh, you are very beautiful. You are a beauty. Oh, thank you. She is beautiful. You aren't going to marry someone? <laughs> I'm only 20. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for everything. So, he's coming back, the brother is from Moscow. Hello? Brat? No, Brat. Oh, Brat. Where is Brat? Brat. What's up, brother? Sister, hello. Yes. You said I'm sexier. <laughs> no shit. Don't say that. <laughs> no, guy, what's on the nose? Oh. 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 Before you leave, you all have yes. drinks. Family. 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 <laughs> oh, <I love> you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You smoke sugars? Yeah? It's for you. It's, it's Cuban. No, спасибо. Yeah. Спасибо. It's good. It's good. Uh, I. I love the Ukraine. Group hug. Group hug. Group hug. Come on, get in the group hug. <laughs> 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 Somebody smell that. <laughs> Somebody smells that. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> oh, I smell good. I smell good. Many a bathtub party. Yeah. Me and Kelly. Oh my god, that couch, I swear. Our cubby. The minute I stepped in the house, I was, I was, oh, I, I, was ex I was excited. I was, you know, this me. is, you know, we're back. We're, you know, this is, it's gonna be, you know, happy from now, and it's gonna be, you know, it's all, it's gonna be all good. And and I, and I felt like that, and I felt that excitement for, you know, for the first 30 minutes, the first hour, and um, it, it was awesome being back. Like and I you see, see the couch, you see mom, and you go into dad's room, and you see what happened. And I don't there. see dad. I see. Yeah. What happened to Dad? And when I go into that cubby room, I see security system. Security system. system. Yeah. I would like to see our play area. I'd like to see. No. I don't know if I could ever. Like I, don't, I said, yeah, I can't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's ever going to change. I don't know if I can bring people back to the house because I don't think it's just like I don't think. I feel people, like I, I think always think, feel I, comfortable with it. Right. Like we we're always thinking about what everybody else thinks, and they're just you know feeling sorry or it's just it's not what do you want what I want but yeah what if we said that we this is the last last time we ever came to this house we stay here we 
see how we feel in the morning. I like I can't I can't leave right now. I'll feel empty inside. I'll feel like I can't. Yeah, I can't leave right now. I can't. Right now. I will feel like I I you know we faced everything the past month. We faced and we leave right yeah, this now. This should be the least of it. This should be. This, this is this was ten years ago. This wasn't even. This didn't happen yesterday. This happened a month ago. I just I don't understand. I don't understand. Why? I feel better about the house, and that's only one day. Couldn't imagine what the next five years, <laughs> the next ten years, or fifteen years. I think we can make memories that will, you know, like overcome the, the bad ones and get make them into good ones. <laughs> 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 don't look! Don't look! <laughs> you missed yeah, I messed it. Up. You misspelled. No, 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 I didn't misspell it. I just so nice. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Oh, you're happy to be back in the city? Yes, I am. Yeah. Dub-dub, thanks for the girl. Okay, <laughs> right. Amen. Well, you know when I pray, I don't do that. That's yeah. dad, that's dad's prayer. That's dad's, that's dad's, that's dad's, that's dad's, that's dad's, that's dad's, dad's prayer. Oh, well, you want to say dad? <laughs> well, I just, <laughs> just did. <laughs> 